welcome back to Stasis Geek. So day three of the exciting, the most epic celebrations of Star Wars happened. And I had just lied. And I mean that graciously because that's what happened yesterday. Except for you, McGregor, Hayden and Vivian Blair, everybody else came onto that stage and just went, lie. Absolutely lie. There was actually one truth, and that was from Matt Martin, who literally dropped the ball. And it was hilarious. But a rest from that, it was either frustrating, annoying, or just pandering. Now, I found the best bit about it is when Vivian Blair came out and actually dissed the coat situation, hiding under the coat, that it wasn't believable, because the whole series wasn't believable. So that was funny. Uh, we had earpiece malfunctions, what made the woman who does the High Republic YouTube look stupid, because as soon as that mo they didn't get fed her lines, didn't know what Star Wars was. And it was hilarious to watch. And then she got cue cards. It was just like embarrassing. You're trying to interview somebody and you go, uh, so you like Star Wars? Uh, m m I, got, I can't hear you guys. Can't I can't hear you. So, Star Wars. And then the biggest reveal, the reveal, was in 2024, we're getting a new Adventures of Star Tours. And that coincides of what Matt Martin kind of dropped the ball with and he, you watch he's in like the interview and then like they try to pan away because he's there pissing himself laughing afterwards because he said the Jedi adventures and other things are going to be focused around the parks that one is going to be was it the uh, Galaxy Edge it's going to be all about that so you get a connection with it and that's what everybody kind of said when Ray got announced there's going to be a connection with you know the galaxy's edge or the star cruiser so it's gonna be obvious what they're gonna go but it's interesting in a way that it was so boring yesterday and literally nothing happened and even the shields were kind of going oh but they were so excited and the people going uh taking the clip of actually very excited people and you it's defending to defending sake because people are on screen. I just don't get it because there is announcements here, but every announcement that could be done can be cancelled. That's it. It's so blasé. It's cancelled. Now, I've got the Twitter up now just to see what they could announce on the last day. And at the moment, there's nothing being announced again except for one little thing. What we knew was happening. Bad Batch is coming back for another season. But apparently it is the final one. What's a bit weird. So, it's like they're cleaning house and doing stuff that can be cancelled just in case. Because they're not announcing anything major at the moment. Now, we could still have that. You know, we could still have the um, the push of the games for the Knights of the Royal Republic. The reboot of that. You know, there could be some announcement. But what is going to be the wow Wow, I didn't see that. I was hoping for that. That's got me excited. Because it isn't. The rest of it is just pandering to stuff. You know? It's boring. It is literally boring. So, yeah. Day three of the celebration is very forgettable. Yeah, it's just... Like, I'm just literally scrolling if I could see anything that is actually of worthy of actually announcing. No. You know, James Arnold Taylor meeting um, Ewan McGregor. That was nice. I liked that photo. That was a great photo. But that anything from that, you got boring, 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 boring. Absolutely doesn't matter. Like, half the announcements yesterday were about announcements that had already taken place because it was all about the merch. So there was stuff that you need to know that was already announced before... The, the celebration and it just went oh pre-orders blah 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 well when's it out pre-orders pre-orders you can pre-order but it didn't actually say when you could you're gonna get it it was just a pre-order so that was obvious um yeah it, it ju it's just poor it was just poor yesterday like there is even if you look at 
Or is somebody going to kind of um, going to leak something? And normally you do. There is no leaks. There's only people pandering to, oh, look at look at the crybabies because they do like Ray. Well, no, we just don't like bad writing. <laughs> we probably liked Ray. We probably liked a Finnish Finn. But Ryan Johnson spoiled that whole that whole sequel for us so it's kind of like what what are you pandering to because what's where's where's this gonna lead so it's just weird that you kind of got that's the only thing on twitter it's got this kind of um again well done disney because you've just again anybody getting merged into hoping that the fan base was going to come back together with i don't know mandalorian and then you just kind of go here's a divide again remember that why you hated each other and why we lost money and why we lost 50% plus of our fan base. Oh. Mm. Yeah. So if you like the shouty, shouty people. And also, I find it hilarious. Now, people think other people must be dumb. Because you've got the shills out there. And I've seen it on a lot of accounts. Is that they kind of, all of a sudden, people will um, say something back to them. Yeah, you know, kind of witty. And then they'll come back with a stupid comment. And it's quite funny to see that then the stupid comment that comes back be has loads of likes straight away. And loads of retweets. And then you kind of have... Weird, I'm not getting any comments. I'm just getting this weird, you know, retweeting likes. And then you realise that it's a bot. <laughs> Literally, I'm like, how many shills have gone into these apps you can get and actually bothered to pay to get a remark back to make it look like your your statement is the most important because you look blank accounts blank accounts blank accounts and they don't follow each other <laughs> it's just like it's a bit obvious so stop doing that because you look more stupid than actually clever so yeah if you're paying for likes and retweets yeah okay do what you want but yeah back to that's it yeah divide we have to wait i'm i'm going to guess as it's happened, as it's going, it's going to be really flat. Um, yeah, they're pushing the High Republic so much. I think that's going to be some kind of announcement. They're going to do that. You know, it's just, yeah, there is nothing. We got the bad batch bit at the moment. So we'll have to see. But yeah, it looks like they're driving to push the parks with the shows, with the movies and merge that all together to make it you know, make something that nobody wanted, wantable? I don't know. It's bizarre. But yeah, we'll uh, watch this space, see what happens to, to, you know, day four. But at the moment, not a lot happening. Not a lot. Not a lot. Not a lot. Not a lot. But yeah, well done for dropping the ball day three. But yeah, give us a comment, as always, if you want to comment. And give us a like, if you want to like. As always, Stasis Geek. Out.